Hello student. Today uh, we are discussing in this module how we issue the share other than cash. Other than cash issue of share, issue of shares other than cash, other than cash. Okay. If a company company purchase asset of another company asset from another company a company purchase from b company you can say in that case uh, the asset purchased by a but a in, is not in a capacity to pay the money to b so a want to issue the share to the b and B is agreed. Okay, this is the case. Issue of shares other than cash. Okay, we purchase the asset or we purchase the business also. If we purchase the business, then what the entry? If we purchase the asset, what is the entry? If we do the partial payment in cash or by check or by bank or by promissory note, what is the entry? And if we issue the share to the company, uh, our company or you can say vendor company so there is a two type of issue of share at par at premium so first of all uh, I just want to do the entry first entry when business purchase or when asset purchase first entry that is the first entry when assets overlay business business purchase only acquired acquired okay this is the heading so I want to just uh, give two parts first entry when asset purchase and it is the business purchase if asset purchase salary asset account debit to vendor account who is the vendor? The company which supplies the asset to us. Okay, we are the buyer, and other company the seller. The seller company is known as the vendor. Vendor means the seller is our, who only buys there. That is vendor. Okay, beta. So this is the center center to vendor. If asset only asset purchase, single asset purchase, or type and center means this is the you can say list of asset. If they purchase the whole business assets liability, in that case, then this entry will be there. Sundry asset account debit, asset account debit, to sundry liability account, to vendor account. Okay. If balance in debit, for example, debit balance, that is goodwill account debit. Put here goodwill account because both sides should be equal. If a credit side balance is there, here balance is there, then capital reserve, capital reserve account, right? So here we purchase a asset, here we purchase or acquire the whole business, and this is the amount of vendor. Sometimes it is given, and we find out the goodwill or capital reserve by balancing figure. If sometimes it is not given, it is calculated with the balancing figure, vendor amount. Okay. If vendor amount is uh, confirmed here, vendor amount is confirmed, and how much share will be issued to the vendor? First entry, uh, we have to see in the question: Is there any partial payment? Then that entry will be made here. I make the second heading: partial payment. Partial payment. Made to vendor. Vendor. In that case, what entry will be there? Vendor account debit. Vendor account debit. To cash account. Over in bank account. If we make the payment by check, draft, RTGS, NAP, 
or any net banking or BP account if we made the payment with the promissory note or bill of exchange that BP account so here we can do the entry this is the notes first entry asset acquired second entry partial payment both are clear now third entry is remaining I want to discuss after that third, third entry here first I want to just rough it If share issued to vendor, this concept in the next chapter also, share issued in the venture also, same, but there is a discount also, but here only at power of premium. Uh, third point that is uh, share, share issued to vendor, vendor. This is the heading and two types first at par second at premium right at premium what is the entry par vendor account debit vendor account debit to share capital account this is the par Parties and here vendor account debit, vendor's account debit to share capital to security premium reserve account. Right? First of all, we want to calculate the number of share. This is the note, note, number of share issue to the vendor number of share how we want to calculate the number of share number of share is equal to amount to be paid to vendor divided by net value net value of shares e. for example we purchase the set for 10 lakh and we make the payment 2 lakh in partial payment remaining 8 lakh will be divided 10 rupees per share that is sorry 10 8 lakh 10,000 uh, 10, 80,000 80,000 shares this is the par case and here if in premium case 8 lakh amount will be paid if 10 rupees share and with 60% premium, 10 plus 6, that is 16, that is 50,000 share, 50,000 share. Here, share is expensive, so less share. Here, share is normal at par, normal share 80,000. So, this is the case of vendor when we purchase the asset or we acquire the whole business and issue the share to the vendor okay so in that case we can do these type of entry maximum three entry if partial payment is not there there is a two entry one is business acquire or asset purchase second is uh, issue of share there are two cases at par at premium okay 10 rupees share issued at 10 that is par 10 rupees share issued at 16 per share that is issued at premium premium entry is more than issued uh, you can say face value more than 10 rupees that are premium so this is the concept and here I want to tell you in narration you have to maintain uh, the this notes and you have to mention number of share number of share issued to vendor then calculation will be easy you can calculate the amount of premium easily and you can multiply the number of share with face value then the capital capital account and number of share with the premium amount that called SPR account okay thank you have a nice day